Hi friends! Welcome to Beautifully Bookish Bethany. In today's video I'm going to be telling you about all the books that I plan to read in January 2022. <laughs> We are at the end of the year and I am so excited to start the year off strong in January. I have quite the TBR, let me tell you. Uh, basically what you're going to see here is a lot of large fantasy books. <laughs> like it might be a little ambitious. I've got a lot of large fantasy books going on this 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 TBR this month. However, several of them are rereads and I have them on audio, so it's not as intense as it might seem, but it certainly is going to keep me busy. That that is for sure. The first reread of the month is also the book that was picked for my Patreon book club. Every month my patrons get to vote on a book that we read together and we have different genres every month. In January we're doing fantasy and the book everyone picked was The Priory of the Orange Tree by Samantha Shannon. I have read this before. I really loved it. It is a tome. Like it's long. It's 800 pages or so, but I really loved it the first time that I read it and I'm excited to do a reread. It is a standalone epic fantasy story. It's got a sapphic romance in it. It's got politics. It's got dragons. I was a fan the first time around and I'm excited to read it again and discuss it with patrons. Second on my TBR is a book that I'm going to be doing a vlog for. This is kind of fun. I'm doing a new thing with certain tiers of my patrons where they get to suggest and then vote on books that they would like to see me do a reading vlog for. That is beginning in January and the book that was voted on for January is Anxious People by Frederick Bachman. I actually have this as an audiobook. I don't have a physical copy so I'll be listening to the audio and doing a vlog and I'm excited. I have been meaning to read something from Frederick Bachman for a long time and I never have. I've heard wonderful things about his books and this will be my first one so look forward to that. I may try to put this with another book if I have something else on my TBR that seems like a good fit. I think this is like contemporary fiction of some sort. I don't honestly even know much of what it's about but I'm going to be reading it. Then we have all of the book clubs and read-alongs that I'm doing and they're also all fantasy for this year. So um, I told you, chunky fantasy is the, the thing of the day. We are beginning our read-along of the Sword of Truth series. So I'm going to be reading Wizard's First Rule by Terry Goodkind. Myself and Liana are hosting this. We may have some guests. The live show for this month is going to be on my channel and then next month with book two it'll be on Liana's channel. We're planning on reading this entire series throughout the year of 2022 so it should be fun. This will be my third time reading this book I think and I really enjoy it. These are just really fun to read. Are they the the height of amazing fantasy? Maybe not but they're a good time and I'm excited. Excited to do the read along and discuss it with people and hopefully suck some people into giving giving the series a try. Then on the podcast that I co-host with Liana and Izzy from Happy For Now Chapter 3 podcast which is always linked below if you don't follow us. Uh, Liana and I she she does the fantasy episodes with me as he does the romance episodes with me. So Liana and I are hosting a year-long read-through of all the first law books by Joe Abercrombie. In January we're doing an episode on the blade itself which I'm actually reading in December so I'm reading like a month ahead of when the episodes are coming out uh, because of recording timelines. But if you want to join with us you can just read the book the month it comes out. Um, but I'm going to be reading Before They Are Hanged by Joe Abercrombie. I have read the first trilogy in the series so I'll be reading this one again for our discussion in February. And then in 2022 Blades and Bodice Rippers book club is moving to a quarterly schedule. So we have a book in January and then we won't have another one again till like April I think. But in January we're going to be hosted over on Leanna's channel and we're reading Gun of the Dawn by Adrian Tchaikovsky, another chunky fantasy book. This is flintlock fantasy and I've heard great things about it so I'm excited to, to check it out and see how it goes. But as if that wasn't enough, let's do some more big fantasy books for January and start the year off strong. I'm going to be doing two other rereads in anticipation of second books in series that are coming out. I'm going to be reading House of Earth and Blood, the first Crescent City book by Sarah J Mass. This will be a reread for me and I'm buddy reading this with Izzy from Happy For Now. It'll be her first time reading it so I'm excited to do that. I really liked this a lot and book two is coming out in February so I want to do a reread. And then I am also planning to reread Black Sun by Rebecca Roanhorse. Fevered Star comes out in a few months. I have an arc of it and I really want to read it but I want to do a reread first because so much happened in this and it's been a while. 
absolutely love this. It was my favorite fantasy book the year that it came out, so I think it's gonna be great. So yeah, a lot of chunky fantasy. Wasn't kidding. But is that all? No, of course not. I'm also going to be doing the fourth vlog in this series I've been doing where I have a popular book talk book and a book that you guys picked for me to read combined with it. So to offset all of the fantasy in January, I'm going to be doing a vlog with Verity by Colleen Hoover. This will be my first book by Colleen Hoover. We'll see how it goes. This one is like a kind of a thriller. And then because multiple people in the comments of that original video suggested it, I'm going to be pairing this with another book by Colleen Hoover. It Ends With Us, which is the other book that people seem to think I might like. So will I like them? I don't know, but we will find out together in January. <laughs> I'm also planning on participating in a book club being run out of my kids' school. There's a parent group for like racial reconciliation stuff that's starting a book club and I want to join in because it's a book I've heard good things about. We're going to be reading An Indigenous People's History of the United States for Young People by Roxanne Dunbar Ortiz. So this is the YA version of the original nonfiction book. And yeah, I've heard great things about this. I've been wanting to read it. So it seemed like a good opportunity. And then finally, I have a bunch of books for review. I've got some physical books and some ebooks. It is going to be a busy month, I know, but at least a lot of these are rereads of books that I know I love, so I'm, I'm hopeful it will be fun. A book I'm definitely going to be reading is Servant Mage by Kate Elliott. This is a novella coming out in January from Tor.com that they sent me for a review. It's fantasy, there's a dragon on the cover, I love Kate Elliott's writing, I'm sure it's going to be fantastic. It sounds interesting, it's got some like political stuff going on with it. I'm also going to be reading a poetry collection coming out March 8th. This is called The Kissing of Kissing, Poems by Hannah Emerson. This was sent to me for a review by Milkweed Editions, and it sounds great. It's the first book in a new series they're calling Multiverse, a literary series written and curated by the neurodivergent. Hannah Emerson is a non-speaking autistic poet and artist, so excited to check that out. I'm also planning to read A Scoundrel of Her Own by Stacey Reed, a historical romance that was sent to me for review from Entangled Publishing. I really, really loved the last book that I read from Stacey Reed, so I'm hopeful that this will be good as well. It sounds fun. It follows a woman who is, in one world, the impudent, willful daughter of a powerful Marquess and darling of the Tawn, but in the other, she moves through the underworld's shadows as songstress Lady Starlight, protected only by the notoriously wealthy scoundrel Devlin Byrne. But when she stumbles upon her beloved father's darkest secrets, the line between her two worlds quickly blurs, and she needs the help of the one man a lady should never trust. So I think it's going to be a good time. Throw in some romance there. And then two other review copies I'm hoping to get to this month, although if I can't and I have to push them back, I, I have time. Coming out in February is Redwood and Wildfire by Andrea Hairston. This was originally published as a indie book, but it's coming out traditionally through Tor.com and they sent me a copy. It is historical fantasy. At the turn of the 20th century, Redwood, an African-American woman, and Aiden, a seminal Irish man, journey from Georgia to Chicago, from haunted swampland to the city of the future. They are gifted performers and hoodoo conjurers, struggling to come to terms with their own very personal trauma while calling up the wondrous world they imagine on stage and screen, on city streets, in front parlors, and in wounded hearts. Um, sounds like it's going to be great. I've heard good things about the original version, so I'm going to be reading that. And then the last physical arc I'm hoping to get to in January is This Golden State by Merritt Weisenberg. This is a YA thriller from an author I've read from before and really enjoyed her, her work, so I'm curious to try this. It says, a propulsive breakout novel following a family on the run, a restless teenage daughter hungry for the truth, and the simple DNA test that threatens their carefully crafted world. So she grew up with a family that had been on the run her whole life, but she never knew why, and now she she finds out and uh, should be interesting. You know, I do realize that this TBR is a lot, but you know, if you're not going to be ambitious in January, when will you be ambitious? So we're, <laughs> we're just going to do it. I also have some e-arcs that I'm hoping to read. I've got Reclaim the Stars edited by Zoraida Cordova. This is a YA sci-fi fantasy anthology by Latinx authors that looks like it's going to be great. Fantastic lineup. I'm also hoping to read Good Girl's Guide to Rakes by Eva Lee. This is another historical romance from an author who I trust and love, and this will be fun. It's got like a, a scandalous bargain of a woman who wants to be shown the underworld of London. I've got The Red Palace by June Hur. This is a YA historical mystery set, I think, in like 1800s Korea with court politics and a murder mystery. I also have Bone Spindle, which is a queer Sleeping Beauty retelling. 
think I, which I also put on my TBR for December, but I don't think I'm gonna get to it in December. There may be like one or two e-arcs that I was hoping to get to in December that are gonna roll over into January. And then lastly, I have a audio arc of Never Tell by Stacey Abrams. So this was originally published a while ago. She used to write under a pen name, Romantic Suspense, and these books are now getting re-released with new covers and they're doing an audiobook version. So I have the audio review copy from NetGalley to listen to, which I think will be fun. Whew. So there you go. That is my <laughs> very ambitious, very fantasy heavy January TBR. Wish me luck. Talk to me in the comments down below. Let me know of your thoughts or feelings on anything I talked about in this video. And for your question of the day, let me know what your reading plans in January are. Are you also going to be more ambitious heading into the new year? Or are you taking it easy and just mood reading? Best of luck to you, whatever your plans are. Let me know in the comments down below. If you guys like this video, it helps if you give it a thumbs up. Subscribe if you want to see more. Thank you all so much for watching and I will see you next time.